Now, heartfelt condolences are pouring in for the late Northwest Cooperative Governance MEC, Gordon Kehakewe. Yeah, now, National Minister Dr. Nkosa Zanadlamini Zuma has lauded him for his understanding of uh, the importance of the portfolio. She adds that uh, he also carried out his responsibilities with dignity. Dlamini Zuma says he'll be remembered for his tireless devotion and dedication to serving communities. Northwest Premier Job Mohoro says Kika Khilwe was a tried and tested member who had distinguished himself as one of the finest to have come from the ANC. Well, our reporter Zintle Kanyane joins us now live from the Northwest Legislature in Mahikeng for the latest on that story. Uh, Zintle, a number of uh, COVID-19 related deaths uh, across government spheres over the past week in particular. What's the kind of reaction you're seeing there? Michelle, it's a very somber moment here and a somber mood here in the Northwest Legislature uh, in Mahigang, like you said. Uh, this legislature behind me is short of one of its members today as Gordon Kehagilwe passed away yesterday after a COVID-19 related illness. We understand he was rushed to hospital yesterday uh, suffering from respiratory problems and when he arrived in the Klaxop uh, hospital, um, he then went under cardiac arrest and even though emergency personnel tried to resuscitate him, uh, their efforts um, did not, uh, were not successful and he then succumbed um, to uh, that uh, short illness that he was suffering from. But it's a very somber moment here. We've seen a lot of opposition um, uh, parties that uh, work with him in this legislature uh, pouring their condolences uh, really saying the same thing about this man uh, and it's not a usual scene that we see uh, opposition parties singing the same song about a person saying that they were dedicated they were diligent we've seen the chief whip of the da freddy uh, really pouring out his uh, uh, condolences to the family whatsapp statuses from various mps uh, uh, from the eff as well so it's a really somber moment and i think it was very unexpected uh, that uh, this province would be short of the MEC, especially relating to COVID-19. Yeah, so Zintli, you know, typically we also hear of, for instance, if a government official has contracted the virus, there's a contact tracing that takes place and other staff members and officials are affected. Do we have an idea of who else might have been affected by Kihachilu's, I guess, contracting this disease? Well, as it stands, we don't know. Uh, the news of his passing just broke last night, and Newsroom Africa broke that news. Um, but as it stands, it was a bit difficult for us to get hold of the MEC of Health. And we can understand everybody is going through a difficult time, especially those that worked very closely with him in the, uh, in the government uh, department. Uh, so we haven't been able to get a lot of details. A lot of things are still very touch and go right now, Ayanda. But uh, we will be meeting up with... Uh, the ANC spokesperson, Kenny Morolong, as well as um, uh, the uh, uh, ANC Youth League um, member, uh, Colin Maine, which we understand he's also going to be making his way to the family home in Freiburg a little bit later on today. And we will be there to bring our viewers uh, more updates on the story and to perhaps also get some clarity on questions like that. Um, who exactly could have been direct contacts of the MEC? Did the MEC even know that? he was COVID-19 positive. We don't even know if he was in isolation before he actually passed away. So there's a lot of questions that are not answered as yet because it is still early stages, but we will be getting all those details for our viewers just to be able to give our viewers a holistic sense of what exactly transpired and how should we then go forward in tackling this pandemic in the Northwest. Yeah, absolutely. Sintla Kanyane, thanks very much for that update. You take care of yourself out there as you do your work in the field.